right, today we're at Miyajima. So what it's famous for is it's actually like a big tour gate in the water and I'll show you guys later. I don't know when it was built or what about it, but it's, it's really nice. Take a ferry over here, it's pretty cool. Uh, I think we're on day 10, 11, I don't, I don't know. I spent a weekend in Osaka, but I don't remember much. And I'll probably put a picture in there somewhere of what happened in Osaka. But that's the only picture I have from Osaka. Maybe I have two and that's it. But that's, that's all I have. But today we're in Miyajima. It's gorgeous down in Hiroshima. Well, a little south of Hiroshima, right? So one of the cool things is that you can actually walk up to deer and touch them. They were just walking around. You can feed them. They don't run away. So that's crazy. I mean, this is like a view of... Man, that looks really nice. <laughs> but that's uh, Hiroshima. And we're... Miyajima is actually an island. And the ferry is like five minutes, I think. Five, ten minutes. Not that long. But yeah, you could really see... The background is actually really gorgeous. We're gonna walk more over that way, and that's where the tour gate is in the water. I think I can see it's orange. Yep. It's huge. It looks small, but it's like, you know, over here it looks like that big, but it's actually a lot bigger. But there's a ferry you come over on somewhere out there. Like I said, they're just everywhere, just hanging out, tanning, living life. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is probably like one of the top three they say views in Japan once you get out to the tour gate, which is that way. But yeah, this is the top three views in Japan, which I agree and disagree. I think Fuji is a better, better view. We're at the base of the mountain, but that's just me. But yeah, I'm going to keep walking. It's only like a five minute walk from when you get off the ferry. So not too far, not too bad. Uh, and I'll try some new food today. All right, one thing Miyajima is famous for is oysters. I myself do not eat oysters. It makes me a little nauseous, but she does. So let's see how this goes. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I think that means it tastes good. Right, after all the deer touching and food tasting and all that fun stuff, there she is, right there in all the glory. So the Tory Gate is I'm like 100 meters out. I think with low tide, you could probably walk a lot closer, but looking at the water now, it's probably you know, like three feet at the shore, like down here, probably three feet. So I'm guessing out there is pretty good, but it's not like it's impossible to swim to. I don't think I would do it, but there it is right there. So, uh, really nice you can get a couple of viewpoints from it like i said before it's like the top three most beautiful views in japan they say i still don't agree but on the other side of this there's an actual shrine back there and so i'm gonna venture over there and try some new foods and let you guys know how it goes it's really nice people are nice it's clear uh it's just really gorgeous like, look at that it just looks nice how funny would it be if i fell in this water over here but yeah it just looks nice and it, it's just So next we're going to do the fortune. So you just take your 100 yen piece and put it in a box. Then they have this kind of six-sided tall cylinder box and you shake it and it has a stick and you pull your stick out from the top and it has a number on it. The number coincides with a piece of paper in a cabinet and it tells you your fortune. So I'll show you guys how it's done. So 
pretty much everything is bad. Business is bad, betting is bad, moving is bad. So uh, from what I've learned is that if you don't like your fortune or you disagree, you tie it to this pole and if you like it, you keep it. So of course I don't want any bad luck or bad fortune. So this will get tied to the, to the pole. Bad luck for me. No, thank you. All right, so video's over. End of the shrine. You can see over there it says exit somewhere. We'll see. But yeah, most importantly, I got this. This is supposed to be a charm from the actual shrine. And it's supposed to bring about this one for traffic safety. Now, it could be argued that not having this is why I crashed the 180. I'm just saying I've had one in the RX-7 every time I've owned it. And I've never crashed the RX-7 and I've done way more sketchier things. So, like I said, it could be said. I needed this, so I got, grabbed it. It's what I really came for. And, uh, well, it's the end of the video. Until next time, guys, it's lunchtime.